Hello, we are in the dojo, Ronin dojo in the Black Forest in Germany and we want to explain to you uh, the first kata of Ronin Ryu uh, performed with Bokken, not with the steel swords. Uh, this Ronin kata has been developed by us from uh, the Seigan kata of Musoshinku Ryu, the ninth kata of the second series that goes a bit like that. We leave out the ritual. I'm coming with Seigan. One, two, three. She goes back into Hasokamai. And um, Hasokamai is not... I can't really attack her. Hasso is too fast. So I threaten her. And she, yeah, she has to um, put away my sword so that she's not threatened anymore and I um, cut her. That's Musashinku Ryu, that's ending there. We do it again. That's the Musashin fighting part of this kata. The difference is uh, this is uh, Chudan Kamai and this is Seigan Kamai. Seigan is a bit more dynamic, it has more uh, energy, more zanshi. So we found that this kata was. Uh, a bit short and not showing all of the possibilities of this version. So, she can do more than to be killed. So, we start. Each. Me. Sun. You go back. I'm coming. And now look at her left foot. She's handy. So, that she's not there anymore. I have to turn to cut her. And she goes out of the line. Okay, that makes it for me a lot more difficult to catch her. The normal Musushin or Seti Kata or other Japanese Kata, most of them, they are always in one line. So that's why we have these Kata with her, 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 yes. And here she goes out of the line, so I have to turn. Yeah? Again. Each sun we go back. Look at her foot. She goes out. And then she makes Ukenagashi. Huh? She's in Hasokamai. She goes out, does Bukinagashi, and just turns around her right foot, cutting my neck. Of course, she could do it as well without Bukinagashi, that would be faster, but in this version we have uh, the Bukinagashi. You cut again. Yeah? And for me it's very difficult to get her because I have to turn. Huh? And she is always better off because she comes to my side. And when she comes to my side, it's an advantage for her. Okay, this kata ends with her death. No, with my death, sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> you can just uh, show that, that's not normal for the Japanese, but we uh, prefer it. One, two, three, go back. Yeah. So, clear who dies and who survives. There's an expression. Omoto and Ura in Japanese. You go and hustle. Omoto 
part of this cutter is just stay like that, don't move. I want to stab her, I want to kill her. That's the outer thing, but of course I know she will not stay like that and wait to be killed. So the next thing is I can't attack her because she's very fast with that asset normally. So I want, to, I want her to move. That's the aura thing. I want her to move because I want to attack her. Yeah? But she does ukenagashi then. So again, I'm failing. Yeah? She has the time to do ukenagashi. She does not have to wait till she gets killed. Okay, first version. Very important is the footwork. This going over there and turning. And you always have to look. It's turn, one turn. Again. Hasso Kamai. You go with Hasso. Look at her footwork. She has to come to the side of me because from there she has the right distance now. Um, we have to turn more. Again, Hasso Kamai. You cut. You see, now she has the right distance for the cut. Don't be too near or too far away. Yeah? So you have to try it out. It's turning around. One thing I forgot is how does she throw my sword away? She turns her sword to, to go with the back of the sword on it. You see? Downwards. So she does not go down with the cutting edge of the side, she goes down with the back. Yeah? The normal, what she wants is that my sword is thrown back yeah, here. And now, of course, she's not there where I want to cut her or I have to turn. Okay. Thank you. In all our cutters, we, uh, Roman cutters, we have three versions. The middle version is the European version, humanistic. I uh, survive. You go back just one foot, one step, one step forward, forward, and go back. Same thing. But this time she stops. It's very difficult if you have a sharp sword. But she goes back, gives me space. And then I go back, she threatens me, she does sanction, and I go back because I know I'm going to die and I don't want to. That's not Japanese, but we like that. And European art of fighting. The third version is uh, you go back for the first step. We have three different openings for her. She still gives me space. Well, now she she saved my life, but nevertheless, I want to still want to kill her. I'm not satisfied, and uh, you have to threaten my face. And I can't attack her because of this sword. So I am in the situation as she has been before, and now I want to throw away her sword. Yeah. So I might, <coughs> and she kills me. She makes it do -gi. Yeah? Do it fast. <sighs> no possibility for me. Again, for showing. We... Uh, last situation is you threaten my face. She controls me, she saved my life. And I still don't want to end the fight. So... 